what's going on sweet gang it's your girl rochelle back with another video and if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i welcome you to your sweet connection where you're definitely going to be connected and i'm going to give you life so today we're going to be going over what has been highly requested the baby bottom apple and unfortunately I love Louis Vuitton and I'm going to do the Louis Vuitton Baby Bottom Apple. Now, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and comment in the sections below of what it is that you may want me um, to do later in some videos. I do have a list and list full of things that I'm going to be um, doing over time, but today I just want to hear from you guys in the comment section what you would like to see for me to do and we can move forward and go from there. So I welcome you once again to your sweet connection. It's your girl Ro back with another video to give you life and what we have before you are the supplies. So we are just going to go ahead and get into the video. And once this video is done, let me remind you, if it, if you like this video and I gave you life, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Now let's get into the video. So what we have here is the materials that I'm going to be using for this baby bottom. I have these famous wonderful tool that I always love is the Wilton's Roller Cutter. And I have my sculpting tool, two-end tool, two-sided tool. I have a balling tool, have balls on both ends. I have my scissors and I have some circle cutters. I have a couple of brushes that I'm going to use and I have my fondant roller and I have a cup of water and a clear cup for my dust. This is emerald dust gold. I want you to keep in mind that this gold is for decorative use only. Um, so be mindful when doing orders, um, how um, the what type of material that you are using when doing these edible um, arrangements or ed edible uh, treats. And yes, I have the wonderful edible image, the Louis Vuitton. Everything that I'm using in this video, I will put in the description, description below and um, also where you can get it from. Okay, um, this is like a larger print of the edible image, which I am going to be applying to the apple. And of course, I have my Fat Daddy's Find It color brown and some white okay and I've already have my apple already done and made um, you can either dip your apple in candy mixture hard candy mixture um, you can also use fondant or you can dip it in chocolate when you want to uh, make this particular apple it's totally up to you and it's also totally up to the client so what I'm going to do is go ahead and get started and we're going to move our apple. Up under this apple is just a regular apple. There's no caramel or nothing up under this because it's found it. Um, oftentimes, keep in mind, when they get these decorative apple, apples, nine times out of ten, they may not eat them. <laughs> and, and they may. So it all depends on how many you're going to do. Um, if it's going to be for decorating purposes, what they want to have on their table, it's all up to the client and what they want. So be mindful of your client's request. So this is just regular black um, fondant that I just covered over. And we're going to go ahead and move it to the side and up under this apple. If I didn't mention it already, it is a Granny Smith apple. Okay, so I'm just going to sit the apple over to the side and we're going to begin to knead our fondant. What I am working on today is just the old cake board that I have. Um, you can get a regular round circle cake board um, uh, that you can put your um, apples on. 
um, when decorating them or once they're done. It's whatever your preference is. Um, but you want to have one of those smaller boards where you can pick once your apple is done you can pick it up and then get ready to package it and i'm going to show you um the packaging after we're done creating this apple so let's go ahead and get started right now i am taking my fat daddy o's uh find it brown find it and i am kneading the find it and uh, those that are new to my channel or new to making treats or new to find it um, Make sure that you need your find it needing to find it just simply um, Working it to make it smooth stretch it out so that it is workable That you can work with it. Okay And uh, I do not have any powdered sugar today um, you can use powdered sugar to keep it from sticking to your surface and as well as everything else. Okay. And this find it is pretty good um, um, at times when I don't need to use um, powdered sugar or starch. Um, I just don't do so. Depending on what particular project I'm working on. Okay. So I didn't need it, this find it, and I, if I didn't mention I got Fat Daddy O's, this is like a white, okay. So what I'm going to get started with you guys is to show you how to create the leg and the foot, which the foot I'm going to turn into like a baby's booty with ruffles. So now that I have this ball. I'm going to just work it out and roll it out okay you can put it on the surface and you can just roll it back and forth stretching it out okay you can do it with two hands it's totally up to you but what you want to do is roll it out stretch it out as far as it can go around the apple if you want to size your apple up that's Fine as well meaning you can take your apple and see how it is going to curve around your apple okay because remember we have what we're working to do is form the leg around the baby's bottom okay so this will be the form that you will be looking for okay so if you want to go longer, you can do so, which I'm just going to stretch it out just a little bit more. Okay. And now you're going to want to look at it like that. You're going to take one end. That's what's going to be the foot. And either you can take your thumb and press in or the palm of your hand to create a thicker bottom so that you are creating an ankle and the foot which will simply be the baby's booty now now that you created this bottom it may look deformed but I'm going to show you how to turn it into the baby's booty okay and all I'm doing it really is just stretching it out to go around as so and sizing it because I wanted to make sure I got it to go around okay so as you see it's forming very well we're gonna work on the baby's foot okay so this piece here you just holding it and you just forming where it can be the foot and remember we're making it like it's a booty so if you can do it you can do it with your thumb by leaving a indenting print or you can do it with the balling tool just simply rubbing across and then making a little arch way and you can do also do it with your hand and I want to kind of shape it to where it's gonna 
go in a little bit to where it looked like a baby's booty. Okay. Just like that. So what I want to do is size it up here. Now, this is going to turn. I got to remember which way. Okay, there we go. This is the heel. That's the foot part. So now that I'm going to put it up against the apple, I want to stretch this out a bit. Okay. Smoothing it out. You just move and you see how that's curving. And then we're going to go upward. Okay. If you smooth and run it across, it is going to smooth out. Okay. And that. So working with it with your hand is 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 better for me. Okay? And it's all about, about forming. Forming the leg. Now that this is looks good to me, I want to take my sculpting tool, the sharp side, and just give those leg indents as if the leg has those folds and just slightly press and press out okay and if you can see that that's all it is You want it to look as neat and look like it's really bent in. Okay, and I'm just smoothing it out. Okay. Now, we're going to put this over here. And we're going to put this leg and foot over there. Now we're going to work on the other leg. Need not to find it. See how it dries up. And you always want to make sure you uh, keep your extra find it and sealed so that it don't dry out. But as you got your working pieces out, just knead out your find it to smooth it out. And we're going to go over the other leg. Okay. I'm just needing not out to find it. Like I said, it's just simply playing with it. Doing this. Uh, you want to make sure you work it all out. And I'm just using the palm of my hand here. And just press, press, press. And you can do it on your board. Press. Press, 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 press. And that means I'm just working it all out to sticky part. Make sure it's all workable. Okay. So moving this leg over here, I'm gonna go ahead. I like to roll it up like I'm doing a cake pop or something. <laughs> roll it up and then begin to roll it out. I always like to roll it out in my hand first, in the palm of my hand. And we're working on the other side. Now rolling it out to stretch it out. Just slightly roll. I know I'm rolling fast, but slightly roll out. Remember, you don't want it too long because it's just going to be 
going right around the apple. Once again, once you got your roll, find what size you want to be the thick part for the foot, which it really doesn't matter because you can form that. And I'm just going to stretch it out some more. And with your palm of your hand or your thumb, squeezing, pinching here and pressing in there. Press down and you just want to make this the thicker part. Now you can come up like this, just moving it up and stretching out some more. And this is actually how you form a foot, putting the prints, but we're gonna do that in a whole nother video. <laughs> okay. Okay, and remember, we're gonna do the other side. So this is actually going to be pushed in going this way, where your foot is going to form that way. So since this is going in, we're gonna pick up our foot and work the foot out. And if you have that, just press down to let it come out some, okay? And if it come out looking like that, that's fine. Just start forming it up. Because remember, this is going on the other side, so this is gonna be the pointed side. So you see here, I'm just pressing. Didn't even use the tool, and that's gonna be the little curve part. So whereas, we're gonna smooth that out, because we don't want it too bulky. Putting your apple here. And that is going to be your foot. Okay. And if it starts thinning here in the ankle, just slightly push, push it together, rubbing it together. Okay. And I'm going to show you how both should look. Like that okay so we have got to the part where we done form the baby bottom now we're going to put the imprint here here which is going to be the creases okay and there you have the baby's bottom. So we done formed the legs and we have formed the feet, which is going to be the baby booties. So we can put this over here. We don't want to seal anything together just yet. And let me turn it that way for you. Okay, I'm just playing with my baby's feet. My baby's feet. Okay. And remember, it's okay to smooth out your legs to give it a smooth finish. So now we're going to create these socks. Okay. Even though we didn't do the toes for the feet, we are actually doing the socks okay so this is actually going to be the baby's booty and i'm going to just show you a demonstration of what i'm talking about okay so this will be a booty with the socks okay so that what is what we're going to work on next okay so as I move this over.
being careful with the legs and the feet. I'm going to knead out this fondant. Okay. So I can roll out me some strips. Okay. So we don't want, because this will stick to the apple. We don't want it to stick to the apple just yet because we got to put on the Louis Vuitton image. Okay. So as I knead this out. We're going to cut out uh, some pieces to form the sock and the ruffle. Okay. Rolling it out. Pressing it out. Taking your rolling pin, starting in the middle, and just work yourself back and forth. Work it back and forth. Turning. Working it back and forth. Okay, now um, in this portion, you just don't want your, your um, strips to be too short or too long. So why I'm rolling out enough is to be able to make sure I have enough and cut off enough. So rolling it out, cutting it out rather. With my Wilton's cutter, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up my pieces. Okay, not at this part. I am going to take off my gloves because I want to work with it a little bit more closely. Okay. Take off my gloves. Making sure my hands are dry. And just picking up the pieces and setting them over to the side. And we're going to work on the sock. All right. So bringing over one of the legs, I'm taking one of the strips and just placing it on the inside, bringing it down close enough where it's going to touch the bottom and I'm just going to take the sculpting tool the sharper part and cut away here taking the thick part and just pushing that in there okay Now doing the ruffles, I am just going to start with the base and we're just going to press here a little bit and just working it like that. Like you're making S's. Okay. And I'm just going to cut slanted I gotta find my my little knife okay and I'm gonna take my ball, balling tool and just shape out my ruffles okay I'm just gonna do one ruffle for this apple okay that's your ruffle now we're going to put Now if it don't stick, it's okay to apply water to the bottom of it. And in this one, taking a piece, coming here on the inner side and coming there. And just cut enough off to where you can just tuck it under. Okay. 
making it look neat as possible. Tucking that under there, okay? Now taking one of the strips again and starting. Make sure you guys can see here on the inner side and just back and forth. And just bending to make that ruffle effect. Okay, you want to ruffle all the way around. And close as possible to match the other booty. Okay, and I think this is going to make it all the way around. Okay, taking my tool and putting in. Okay. And this, you definitely want to add some a little water because the water on the find it will stick to the